Okay, so I'm trying to play around with a few other effects. What could we do? Okay, so we've got um, a different type of rectangle. I'm going to get some text on there now. So I'm going to get rid of this effect here and just put it back to um, a solid. I quite like the green. If I hover over it, I'm going to copy that. And then I'll copy that colour for the border. Always picked up a red in there. It's because of the toxic waste. Let's put this back to none. Pick up the blue and give it a nice bit of a border. Okay, so here is the T for text. And writing's all rather big. Um, about 14 there, that'll be small, I can resize. So Wrist mass with tick tock. All right, so again, if I want to move something, I've got to click on this and select it. And if I can just click on here, I can scale up and resize the text. And you can just move it on. Now, there's lots of really cool things that you can do. You can do these with um, the images as well. But I'm going to show you how to do some filters. So I've clicked on here. You can see filters down the bottom, okay? If I click on a plus on a filter, you can adjust some colors. You can do things like bevel and emboss. What that means is in a bevel, okay, if you click on it, and uh, if I zoom in a little bit for you, you might be able to see a bit better. It looks a bit like it's coming out of the page a little bit. Okay, so if I click on this, press delete, you can see it's slightly changing. Now, if I do the inset and boss, it looks like it's been hammered in. So rather than being raised, it's like it's been knocked in. And well, you can actually change this as well. So, you know, a bit of a, uh, it looks like it's been hammered in a bit more. So you can have a uh, play around with that. And lots of other different effects on here. So you can have like a glow. So if I wanted, I could have a glow around there. So maybe if I had a bit of a white glow around there. And if you're doing this for any form of coursework, you know, make sure you print screen and show in the befores and afters and, you know, the fact that you've got this glow on there to make sure that you can get those um, marks. You don't have to just have one. You can actually have two different or as many different uh, filter effects as you want on there. So this is Christmas with TikTok. We've got some other shapes. And we're really starting to build up our logo now. Now you can see at the moment there's got lots of white around the edge. So what you can actually do is you can go to Modify, Canvas, and Bit Canvas. And if you see now, it's just hitting all the edges. So it's got rid of any extra space that you want. And you can see here we've got layers. You can see all the layers down here. And you can actually hide layers or lock layers. OK, so if you don't want them edited or you want to see what it's like without it, if you go to the layers tab, you can have a look and take layers off and on or lock them if you don't want them to be touched, if you're quite happy with them.